Okay, so painting, after you get done um, working on your color chart and really trying to look at the value scale of every color and see what happens to the colors when you mix the complement, um, then I really want you to um, apply this to probably the most important project that we will do through this semester, which is a color matching um, activity. So the collage on this side is cut from magazine pieces and put together. And then the painting on this side matches the collage. So you're really trying to color match and not just take red, yellow, blue straight out of the containers. So all of the things we've been talking about and working on are going to come into play when you're doing this project. Here is another collage along with the matching painting. And here is a picture um, of the collage and then the matching painting. You'll see the collage has the houses in it and then in the painting the person altered it a little bit but did match everything else. We're going to do this on a very small scale this semester because before those were taking three, four, or five weeks for students to complete. And I'd like to try to keep this more between two and three week project. It does take time. It takes time to do this because you are truly trying to match every single thing that you see. So you have two four by five cards or four by six cards in your kit. They're both made out of um, tag board and you are going to create a collage on one side. You can use anything to create your collage with. All of you have a National Geographic magazine that is in uh, your kit and you can cut out of that. I cut out, like if I zoom this up, this little light bulb, um, some different pattern papers from my stack. There's like a little elephant uh, in there. Um, and then there's some like brighter colored pieces of paper down there. And I glue sticked them onto the page or you can tape them onto the page or you can use white Elmer's glue, um, whatever you have to create your collage. If we're in class, we will use the glue stick. Um, and you definitely want five, six, seven, eight different pieces of paper. If you look at this, um, the people came from one source, the ice came from another source, the houses came from another source, the galaxy came from another source, and then the sun. So, you know, there's five or six different things going on. Obviously, in this one, there's more like 20 different pieces that are on it because it's a little bit larger. Um, but you definitely want to mix it up so that it looks busy. There's plenty of things to color match. There are neutrals on here as well as like dark values as well as bright colors so that you're trying to mix a variety. Um, I'm going to go ahead and if there's any pieces cutting or sticking off the back, you can cut those off. So I just turn that in. Now you have to get this um, one transferred onto here. If you are at school, I'm going to make a color copy of this for you so that it's thinner to transfer over. If you're at home, you are going to have to add value on the back. But you'll do this same thing on the back of your color copy if you're in class. And you're going to need to add quite a bit of value because this is going to be thick to make a transfer through. This transfer is going to be a little bit more difficult, and you may have to actually end up <clears throat> drawing some things in. So you're going to have to be patient with this step if you're at home. If you want to bring it, your collage into school and I can make a color copy for you, that's fine as well. You can drop it off at the office or whatever. All right, so now I'm going to line that up and trace all of my lines. I probably will not trace every single one on this demo, even like this torn stuff. 
I am going to trace it over. Here's the back of the elephant. The more detailed you can be, the easier it's going to be to match this. Just going to transfer part of this for the sake of the demo. You can tape it into place if you want. All right, pull this up. Okay, it's very, very light on my paper. Again, you won't have this problem if you are at school. Um, because I, um, I'm just drawing this back in dark so you can see it on the, on the paper. But because I can, um, but now you can start to see as I trace my lines, there's my light bulb. Okay, transferring it over. If you can't transfer, just let me know and I can make a color copy for you. And you can transfer from a normal flat page. Um, and then after, after you have transferred it over, um, then you will go ahead and start mixing and you want to match like exactly this orange so if it's like more red than yellow you want to consider that and you want to mix this gray well how do you get a neutral gray is it black and white for your neutral gray or do you need to mix like complementary colors and then add in white for your neutral um, so you're gonna have to slowly mix a painting that looks just like your collage or very similar it takes a lot of time that's why we're working so small okay so just all the way through let me know if you have any questions